Hello! Gosh, can you believe we're on to week three of Draw a Bunny? So yeah, week three, brilliant. So hope you've got your um, faces from last week because today we're going to be adding ears to our bunnies and also we're gonna give them some, it's winter, they're cold. So we're gonna give them some woolly hats and woolly scarves. And we're also gonna do um, a floppy summer hat as well, just in case we want to put that through to through to summer. So yeah, come on, let's get cracking, get your pens and your paper and let's go. So let's move on to ears. And um, we've got bunnies have sticky up ears, they have floppy ears. Um, I had one rabbit who was a half up and half down kind of chap. Um, so we just need to have a bit of a think. Now, um, generally speaking, the, 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 the type of rabbits who have the long, thin faces tend to have the sticky up ears. And the rabbits that have the more squat faces tend to have the floppy ears. That being said, these are your bunnies and they're your stylized character versions. So you do whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to show you how I draw my ears. Basically, the ears um, are at the top of the head, usually as the, as the head curves here and here. So that's where I bring my ears from. And I just do a curve and I bring it round again and then I narrow it down. And then depending on which way the ear is facing, if the ear is facing downwards, then I'll just do like a little bit of a you know, a bit of a long, because I'm going to my desk there, just change the shape of my ear. So that's sort of a downward facing ear. And then this one would be a forward facing ear that you can see the entire, the entire thing there. And this little chap, should we do big old floppy eared? We are. So it's just random, you know, have a look at your pictures of your bunnies and you'll see that they're very random with how they, um, how they hold their ears. So have a go and practicing, have a think about whether your ears are forward facing, downward facing, you know, think of it in terms of your palm of your hand being the inner of the ear. So if the ear is forward facing you see the entire palm if the ear is twisted you only see part of the palm and if, if the ear is facing down then the palm will be that way so that's what I've done there like the facing down and forward so try and think of it in terms of that or if you don't want to do an inner ear just don't do one in the same way that I have done I've done here. I mean, my preference when I draw bunnies is sticky up ears, just because I like sticky up ears. Um, but you know, floppy down bunnies are equally equally cute. So, what happens then if we're going to put a hat on our bunny? So, if we're going to put a hat on a, our bunny, we need to um, think about that before we draw the ears and before we draw the face. So if I'm going to put a hat on my bunny, and let's say it's a woolly hat, I will draw that first. So there's kind of the rim of my hat, the top, and let's put a bobble on the top. Um, okay, so the reason I've done that is because now I'm going to put it on my bunny. And I'm just going to use a pencil because I just want to show you that the top of the head may start in the hat. So you want to follow the shape of your hat for the head with your pencil. And then you want to, oh sorry that was a bit too curvy. So follow the shape of your hat and that is where you would expect the top of your head to come. And then bring your head out of your hat. So I'm going to swap to pen now. Bringing my head out of my hat. Whoops. 
I have got something under my paper here that is causing the lines to distort. So I'm going to rub out the line there. And as I say, I'm doing this in pen, so I'm cut so that you can see better on camera. So I'm kind of committed to the lines. But it, when you've got yours in pencil, you know you can re you can re jig the hat. So I'm just making the hat bigger because I mucked up a bit. So there we go. His hat's on his head. Let's just quickly give him some expression. Okay, so there we go. His hat's on the top of his head. And then um, I'm going to do some ears because he's going to have some holes in the side of his hat there for his ears to stick out. There we go. So that's why if I'm doing accessories, I usually do those first. Let's put some, he's not complete without a twinkle in his eye. So if I'm going to, say, do a scarf, sometimes I can work with the, 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 the face that I've got. And I'll just bring my scarf around the side. Like so. He's going to have a big knot in the middle. Now I'm doing this sketchy style now rather than straight lines. I love sketchy style. And this is how I would normally do... Um, them in my journal is in a sketchy style if I wanted them like very straight lines I'll do that in pencil first and then I would sort it out there we go so he's now got his hat and his scarf on that his mum made him for Christmas how's that so there we go little bunny little bunny in his scarf I'll just change the size of his eyes there because you can see how much that kind of changes your image as well. That took how long? Not very long at all, did it? So yeah, you can see you, you very you know you very quickly can start to build your bunny and you know that kind of stuff. So I mean you can do any sort of um hats you know really so just think about you know what sort of hats that you might want to do whether you want a you know a scarf at all i mean i like him just as he is there i think he's rather cute but we might want to do other sorts of hats um what else could we do? We could do like a like a um, like a big floppy big floppy sun hat. I mean, I would suggest that when you um, when you're thinking about what you would like to do accessories wise, you have a look at at the accessories yourself. Um, just to see what they kind of look like and then just try and and then just try and customize that and stylize that you know to suit to suit yourself and this one's got a um, big flower so if I was doing this in pencil I could I could do the you know the flower first I could do the flower first and then I could rub out this line of the hat here that I that I'd drawn first because you need to draw the foreground things before you draw the background things. Um, let's give her some ears. So that's one thing you need to think about is foreground before background. There we go, with little girl in her in her sun hat. <laughs> Another little cutie. They're always cute bunnies. So yeah, so before drawing your accessories and before drawing your bunny think about whether you want them to have any accessories or not 
um, and then draw the accessories first and then put the bunny um, then put the bunny around the accessories and that way you'll avoid lines like that so foreground and then background so just practice your ears and practice your accessories and so I hope you enjoyed that so we've now got our our bunny with his hat and scarf bless him doesn't he look cute and then we've got our lady bunny in her floppy summer hat so yeah so keep practicing um keep drawing different accessories and ears up years down years and i'll see you next week for part four when we're going to start putting some some bodies and some clothes on our bunnies and then week five we'll color them in and do some shading so exciting stuff um thank you so far for all your feedback on on this series um i still haven't seen any faces though <laughs> either send me a picture on twitter or facebook or something i'd love to see how your bunnies are coming along and for you filofax gals i want to see the doodles in your filofaxes um so yeah see you soon bye